guys, thank you very much. And once again, we're coming to you from the Darren Summit Cricket Ground. It's match number two, the home side once again. The St. Lucia Kings looking for a change of fortunes. Tonight, won the toss and they're going to bat first as they take on former champions as well, the Barbados Royals. So, Ramdi with me tonight. Um, so, little, it is a must win game, you'd want to say, for the Kings, based on everything taken into consideration. It's, it's a must game win from the point of view that uh, they will want to get into a winning habit. I mean, look, uh, it is still early days. I, I don't think, even if uh, there's a not, not a favorable result tonight, that there's any need to panic. But look, you want to maximize home advantage, mm -hmm. uh, John. It just so happens that uh, the tournament got started in St. Lucia this year, so everybody's starting cold, which means the home team is also starting cold. Um, so I, I think they will feel confident. I think last night, even though they lost, they could get a lot of encouragement from last night because I think they really put up a good fight at the end. Mm. So they'll go there feeling confident today. Strange enough, you mentioned cold, some rain around. Is it a big factor for us to consider tonight? Uh, I don't think we're going to get any sort of heavy downfalls. The problem we may have are uh, intermittent interruptions um, that could maybe break up play a little bit and you know that affects the rhythm of the game but I don't think we're going to get any significant downfall that will impact the results of the game. So Kimani Milius won ball last night, not in the 11 today. Uh, Descarte is coming in for him. Uh, your thoughts of that change? I really feel for the kid. I mean, uh, He's a young kid, uh, he's talented, he's a former under-19 West Indies captain and you want these kids to go on and do well and a big part of doing well is confidence. Um, I really felt for him, I think he came in at a really difficult time. Maybe he should have come in much earlier, or maybe not at all, maybe Primus should have come ahead of him. Mm. Um, I think he came in at a really difficult time, so I do feel for him, uh, but I think uh, Kimani just needs to keep working hard, uh, keep, I, I just keep preaching for tomorrow. Chasing, things chasing tonight. Uh, not like last night when they up to the bat first, the night chasing, do you think? Well, the good thing you know, they can say is that they're more experienced at the Royals right now <laughs> in terms of the 2023 tournament. So they would have played on this pitch already, it's the same pitch from last night, and they will have at least know what this pitch plays like. So there's that uh, for them going in terms of advantage. But it can go either way. It's still a great batting wicket. Whether you're batting first, whether you're chasing, it, whether the weather will make a difference later, we'll see, but I, I think it's still very much uh, it, it can go any way. I think John, that what we saw last night, 187 or so, I think that's probably going to be a pass on this bit. Can go anywhere. Mm -hmm. What are you saying tonight? Kings or Royals? I am... <laughs> I mean, look, I like to see Kings win. Uh, you know, they're home. They have fantastic support. I really must commend this crowd as you know, they're in Sam Stadium. And I'd like to see the home team what they're Right, so let's see what will happen. We're predicting a win for the St. Lucia Kings. Thus, my color tonight. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> 